this is Pam Moore, aka Pam Marketing Nut, out on Twitter. Hope you're doing great today. All right, I'm here today to give you a quick demo of some cool new features that have been announced and launched from one of our clients, TabSite. Now, if you are not familiar with TabSite, what they basically do is they have a solution um, that includes all sorts of cool apps and um, things that you can implement into your Facebook business page to help you grow your community, um, turn up the engagement, and increase your overall ROI. You know I love that word for anybody who knows me. So what I want to do today is I'm going to highlight for you a new feature that they have. It's one of their engagement apps called the Website Resizer app. And I want to show you how easy it is to take any website page that you have and basically in simple terms insert that right into your Facebook business page okay in a matter of minutes um, you don't have to be a programmer you don't have to have you know any special skills this is something that you can do if you know how to use a mouse and a computer and you have a Facebook business page so I'm hoping I can show this to you in less than five to ten minutes and um, let's get started so here I am I have uh, basically logged into TabSite and I have their TabSite manager up. So this is anybody, once you log in, this is exactly what you're going to see. And if I want to create a new tab, I'm just going to click on add new tab and I'm going to name this tab free worksheet. And I'll show you where that name appears. So here is my Facebook uh, business page. And these are the little tabs that we have right underneath my big cover image. And so the name is very important of the tab because it actually is going to appear here on your Facebook public page. Now we can edit it later and I'll show you how to do that, but why not just get it right the first time? So I, I'm titling this free worksheet because that is what I'm going to be offering and I'll explain that here in a minute. But um, if you don't have a tab image, right now I have the opportunity to upload an image or I can use one of the tab site provided images. You want your images to be 111 by 74 and uh, you can select any of these default images that tab site has kindly created for you. You see they have a Pinterest one here. And of course my phone always has to ring every time I'm doing a demo. So I want to upload or select one of my own images. So I had already uploaded one um, here. You know, if you need to upload one, pretty self-explanatory. You just can select the file from your file um, folders and upload it. But I, this one is going to be called a content inventory worksheet. And less is more when it comes to this type of thing. You only have 111 by 74 pixels to be dealing with. So you cannot put a ton of content in there. Keep it simple. Let people know what your call to action is. Okay, so there's my simple image. I am going to create my tab and voila, uh, you will see the image will pop up here and it will show that I now have two, in a minute it's gonna show that I now have two tabs. Um, I now need to choose the tab type. So for this particular one, I am taking advantage of their engagement apps and I am going to go ahead and click Oh, right here on the very right side is the website resizer app and you'll see there's all types of apps that you can play around with and just have loads of fun um, but for today we're looking at the website resizer app so I'm going to go ahead and add that and now here is my little um, image that I uploaded and you'll see it says free worksheet which was the title that I, per I assigned it and this is the default tab site icon I will have a moment and a bit later to change that um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the page. What I need to do now is grab a URL from where I want to, whatever is the page that I actually want to import into this um, engagement app. So, you know, this is basically what web page do you want to use within your Facebook, um, Facebook business page. So this particular page is an opt-in email list that I have where people I'm providing a call to action and people can download a pretty nifty content marketing inventory worksheet. I always tell people, first thing in organizing your con in, in content marketing is knowing what you got. So this spreadsheet basically tells them, helps them organize that. There's three categories. It's in, it's out, or it's updated. And so this is a worksheet that I use as a call to action. You know, we've had thousands of people have downloaded it and then they will opt into our email list as a result so that they can retrieve that worksheet and then we nurture relationships with them through email marketing and social media 
So I am going to go ahead here and copy this URL. This page could obviously be anything that you have. It could be, you know, a menu if you have a restaurant. It could be hotel bookings if you are a hotel, for example. It could be an upcoming promotion or current promotion that you have. It could be, you know, products that you're selling. Basically, anything that you have, any announcement you have, you know, any anything you want to communicate with your Facebook audience, you can um, now bring that easily into your Facebook page. Isn't that awesome? So I copied that URL. I am now just going to insert it here because this is basically saying add website URL. I am going to hit refresh. It's defaulting to 1200 pixels in height and you will see, la la, here is my page that I just imported. Okay, so could I do more edits to this? You know, probably remove the footer, yes. But for this demo, I'm keeping this simple. Remember, we want this less than five to 10 minutes. We are importing our um, a web page. So I can size this. And if you're like me, you're obviously gonna wanna play around with this type of thing. You know, I, I would be interested to know any of you that can get through this process without touching this little button up there. I bet there are few of you. So uh, that is basically what we do here. And then if I want to edit this, I told you earlier that uh, we can we can edit that little tab. Uh, okay, so I told you earlier that we can edit that little tab and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So I'm gonna say edit tab icon. That's that 16 by 16 little icon. So I had already done one earlier, which was orange. I'm going to go ahead right now, and I guess I could do this one green. And so now you'll see, now instead of being the default tab site, um, a little icon, it is now just a green icon. I could have used orange as well. So I think, let's see what else I wanna show you on here. There's some other options. Now you will have the options to include social sharing. So I can select which buttons I want to appear. These will appear at the top of your page. So here uh, we can, you know, customize what it's going to look like for sharing. Um, they will use whatever values you put here. So we could put, uh, we'll put content um, inventory worksheet from, I'm going to include my Twitter handle, okay. Um, free content inventory worksheet from Pam Marketing that and so that's probably good okay or I'll just say from Pam Moore that's what we'll do and then I can put you know I'm, I'm not going to show that now but we could you know put any images we want we want to put here uh, optimal image size is going to be 90 by 90 and those images are just going to carry over you know for any social sharing that's happening I can also include specific text that I want to be tweeted out so I am going to say check out this cool content inventory worksheet from Pam marketing that okay so now that I've entered this if somebody wants to share my tab once we have it implemented this is the text that's going to show uh, within the tweet when they share that, okay? And there's some other things you can do. You can do all types of post planning, that type of thing. But right now we're keeping this simple. I wanna show you how quickly you can do this. So let's do a quick run through and make sure everything's right. So we have the image up here that we want to showcase. We have the right URL. We have, I think, size this appropriately for now. You know, if I were to spend more time on this, I probably would optimize this a little better and move this opt-in box up a little bit, um, but it's serving its purpose. And uh, we have selected to, to include the social share buttons. We have uh, modified the title, the description. We've modified the tweet content. And I am just now going to hit save and publish, okay? Your engagement tab has been saved and published. So now let's come back to my Facebook business page. And now let's see what we've got. So now here is my content inventory worksheet down, download now. Select this load and now you can see here it is. So here is my page. I didn't have to code anything. I didn't have to custom create anything. I just took an existing web page that I already had with my opt-in form and now everybody on my Facebook Book, in my Facebook community can easily download this information even if they have never been to my website. Now I can click like, 
So it has at least one like. I know you all are going to go there and like it. Um, I can do the same thing. You can see how easily this works. I can Google Google Plus want it. I could easily share this out to my Google uh, Google Plus account right now. And if I want to tweet this, so this is exactly what the uh, tweet is going to look like. And then the images aren't going to be there because we didn't upload those images. So that's the area I showed you earlier. We could have easily uploaded that image and then this would be a custom image here. But that's not required right now. So anyway, that is it, guys. That's We have the tab. Um, it is implemented. The other thing you may want to do is, is um, move the tab wherever you want it to be. So I'm going to put content inventory worksheet to up here. And what I did, um, you know, to move any of these tabs around, unfortunately, you cannot drag and drop them on Facebook. But what you do is just click on this little um, edit icon and you can select whatever um, tab or app you want to appear there. And now when I hit reload, that's um, the order that they will be in. And so, you know, you can always do that. So, so now I have the option for people to download a post um, an audience analysis worksheet. They can do a content inventory worksheet. And then we have a free white paper on social media um, events and social media for events. And this was also created with uh, TabSite as well. So there you go. I hope that you learned a lot and um, just go check out TabSite.com. Uh, and uh, Mike Gingrich is a great contact. If you have any questions, he's always great to help folks out. So uh, best of luck to you.